arrangement you put in place at the airport <laughs> ahead of the reopening of the airport on the 1st of September, what I call the exorbitant 150 US dollar charge per antigen test. Can you tell us how the company known as Frontiers Healthcare Services Limited came to be given that contract to carry out the antigen test and how you also came by the amount of $150. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, it will be very difficult for me to answer this particular question. Why? Because there's a presidential task force that is supporting the ministry to do the COVID battle. This particular arrangement was put in place by the task force that reports to the um, president. Now, they actually did the procurement for the, um, how do I call it? Sorry, Chairman, just uh, while Minister, whilst you're landing, is the presidential task force a procurement entity under Ghana's procurement laws? We need further details, but we're happy to hear you further. Thank you, Chair. Please, in the midst of the pandemic, I will say this wasn't an anomaly. We had groups that were doing various things. And for the task force to partner with the private sector person to do what we did, knowing very well that the ministry itself didn't have the capacity to do and install the type of equipment they put there, I think was quite normal as an emergency arrangement to have done that. Chairman, just to take note that we would be requesting the chairman of the presidential task force to be in attendance to give evidence to this committee as a witness to testify to what the minister is submitting before your committee. <laughs> well, that's your suggestion we can discuss later. Kindly continue, please. By way of follow-up, are you aware that the company Frontiers Healthcare Services Limited, by registration number from the certificate of incorporation I have here, CS1140920, was only incorporated on 21st July 2020, a few weeks to the reopening of the airport, and it had no medical laboratory experience. Are you aware? I would say I'm not aware.